What's up, everyone? This is Ninja Deathstrike bringing you another Pokemon black and white Wi-Fi battle. And as promised, this week I have something pretty special to show you guys. Uh, first off, I'm going to be doing a dual narration with my friend Shark, who is a member of the site that I play on quite a bit. And secondly, this match is a very special match. Uh, it's using something that we've named, for lack of a better name, Boss Tier. Um, basically what it is is... We went through some of the UU and RU Pokemon who really had the potential to be good, but for one reason or another, Game Freak just kind of decided to screw over. And we've given them either an upgraded ability or an expanded move pool and basically allowed illegal moves and abilities on these Pokemon, but we've all agreed on it. So when we start the match, we know that there's a chance these guys are going to have these new moves. And so uh, Shark and I both put together a team featuring a lot of these new guys, and I decided that I would post the inaugural, inaugural, sorry, I can't say that word, inaugural video for you guys um, so that you can see what we've done. And if you liked it, maybe you will want to check it out and play with us as well. So the tier is really just for fun. It's not like a serious competitive thing at all, just uh, to have some fun. So Without further ado, I will get into the match and let Shark and I tell you what's going on. So uh, I brought Tyrantar basically just as a counter for Sun. I knew that we had given um, Flareon Flare Blitz, so I thought Shark might bring Ninetales to boost that, and I brought Tyrantar solely as a counter to Ninetales. And I actually considered bringing Ninetales last second, took it out. I had it on the team that I used before this. And I went with the obvious lead of Weevil. So yeah, Shark leads with me, um, and Weevil has Technician now, so I was expecting either a fake out or a super effective fighting attack, and my best switch for both of those is Bubba Hotep, my Duskmore, so switch into him here. Yeah, it, it just of course fails. I just wanted to get some damage, and the worst thing that could happen is it missed, and that's what happened. So, predicting a Mach Punch, I switch out here. Yeah, Dustmore has knock, uh, Iron Fist and Mach Punch now, so I knew the switch was coming. I predict that, go for the Will Wisp, but unfortunately I miss. Yeah, Hex would definitely not on your side in this match. Uh, it just really didn't seem to favor you at all. Uh, and I take that to my advantage and use it for a free attack. Yeah, so I know I'm going to be slower here because I actually run relaxed with zero speed IVs. Uh, but I also know it's probably not going to one-hit KO me, so I go for Will-O-Wisp and miss again. Yeah. Uh, mine actually doesn't have any speed IVs either, so it probably would have been uh, rather close. I have no idea how close it is even. Uh, so, thanks to the double miss, um, his Dustmore is not crippled. It's still going to be hitting at full power, and I don't have any choice but to sacrifice mine now. Uh, everything on his team is basically going to be able to kill it from that amount of HP. So, just leave him in his Death Fodder and use the initiative to get a free switch into Heedran, who's really just my bulkiest guy. That's the only reason I went into him here. Yeah, uh, I absolutely hate Heedran, so... I decided to scout his first move with Mach Punch because that's nor mine is a complete tank and can take almost anything and toxic, of course. He's bad. Yeah, so I knew it was, he's a tank, and if I can't cripple him with burn, I at least want to put him on a timer. So go ahead and fire off the toxic first, thinking that he would probably stay in for at least one turn. And now on this turn, I'm just going to scout and set up a sub. And I'm even going to continue to see what this thing wants to do, and because I hate Heatran, because mainly because it's a tank and it usually has sub, I'm just going to keep trying to beat it up and get as much damage as I possibly can with us around it. So I have no idea how much a Fire Blast is going to do here. I don't know what kind of uh, EV spread he's running. So I am behind a sub, and it looks like Mock Punch is doing right around a fourth depending on min-max, so I think there's a small chance the sub might hold up, so I'm just going to fire off a Fire Blast to gauge the damage. Uh, luckily for me, the sub is 
uh, broken by it, so like I actually inflict some damage next turn. Uh, and it that fire blast is just enough to put me in uh, KO range next turn after poison, which is quite bad for me. So here, I'm actually happy he lived. I was at the time anyhow, but then I make a misplay. I think that I'll have enough for another sub after taking a mock punch too. So I get greedy, go for the sub, thinking that Toxic will take him down and I'll be behind a sub after he dies. Uh, I actually died a sandstorm on that, but uh, just various end of turn effects. So it really didn't matter what you used. You would have taken the damage and... Uh, you saved a PP actually by doing that. Yeah, but now I'm not behind a sub when Latios comes in, and I don't have anything to deal with this. So I just go back into Jabberwocky. Uh, he's completely specially defensive EV spread. So I'm thinking I should be able to take two hits, and that's really my only hope. If that doesn't work, I just get swept. Uh, this Latios, I think, is not max special attack. It's timid. So I was, I was hoping that I, I could do just enough damage to KO it, and as you see here, it survives barely. I just barely cling on there. I think uh, either the first hit was max damage or the second one was min, but either way, I barely survive, and I'm able to fire off a crunch. Doesn't kill it, but Sandstorm is going to take it out at the end of the turn, so uh, the biggest threat is now dealt with, and that was a huge relief for me. I was hoping to use that to take down the rest of Heat Ryan at the very least, but that didn't work out so well for me, but I knew I couldn't switch. So, so uh, I'm bringing Weavile. Yeah, Weevil comes back in. Jabberwocky's useless at this point. Uh, I'm just going to leave him in. I'm surprised you went for the fake out there, as it means you're going to take extra life orb and sandstorm damage. It really didn't matter in the end, but I realized that the turn after I used take out that I probably should have just gone for the attack. Except my Weavile doesn't carry fighting moves, so I wasn't sure if uh, Ice Shard would be able to KO it. Yeah, and I just assumed it had a fighting move this whole match. Uh, I'm going to go into my own Weevil here, 7, and I thought this was going to be a speed tie. Uh, I assumed you had a fighting move, and if I didn't go first, I lost. Yeah, well... As I mentioned, my, my stuff's kind of odd, especially for a uh, uh, technician, which is what we gave this. Uh, I actually don't have any dark or fighting moves, which I realized after this is not that good of an idea. Yeah, so um, that allows me to take an ice shard pretty comfortably and um, revenge kill with whatever that move I just used was. Low sweep, I think. So now sweep, I yeah. at least have the speed advantage. Um, but I have to switch out because Durant's going to kill me. Yeah, and I figured, so I took the opportunity to home pause, making sure that everything can hit. And uh, I wanted to make sure, be certain that I could take down Heat Ran with a stone edge. Yeah, and I wasn't positive you had Stone Edge, so I figured if you didn't, he'd ran walls you all day. So, And if you did, you know, it'd be death fodder for a free switch. So that's why I went into him there. Yeah, it turned out to be fodder because Stone Edge actually works. I was actually surprised that even that plus one that I killed it because I hate Heat Ran because it's so tanky. Bring in Flygon and it just falls to Durant's awesomeness. Yeah, I thought I could survive an attack, but it couldn't. So now uh, my only choice is to go into Hugsy, my Quagsire. I thought I had the defensive build, but this one's actually specially defensive, and that x Scissor is going to do a huge amount of damage. Yeah. Uh, although i uh, got to ask fans here, uh, does accuracy boost work with this? I have no idea. Yeah, I with knew that it... It would at least cancel okay. your uh, your attack boost. And I live at three, which was amazing. Um, that's going to let me get in two solid earthquakes and put you in range for a revenge kill. And that's really all I needed to do. Yeah. I uh, don't really know what else to say about that. Yeah. I, lived I knew I'd lost her. <laughs> yeah. Here. 
So now, since your Weevil's gone, uh, I have the fastest guy right now and easily going to be able to take out Durant with a Technician low sweep here. So I've only got two guys to go through, and this is basically going to be the turn of the match right here. Yeah, uh, and it would have been the end turn if I didn't misplay. I went for a flare blitz trying to show it off, but I carried Quick Attack, which could have KO'd. Yeah, but... um. Holy shit, Bite killed it in one hit. Uh, neither of us could believe how much damage that did. I mean, Flareon's not real defensive, but wow. That was a clean one-hit KO from uh, Technician Bite. And naturally, Flygon can't stand a chance against a times 4 super effective stab Technician Ice Shard. Yeah, it kind of sucks that neither Flygon got to do anything this match uh, because we've given it quite a few toys to play with, but... Uh, hopefully you guys at least got to see um, Dustmore and Weevil showcased fairly well. So uh, this is a really, it was a really great match, and I think it's going to be a fun tier to play around with. Yeah, especially if we're not trying to completely showcase it as much. If we just have like one guy per team, I think it might be able to shine a little bit more just because we won't be trying to show it off as much. Yeah, so anyhow, um, if you guys are interested in seeing what we're doing, I'll leave a link to the page with all the moves we've added. You guys can check it out and maybe come and play if you think it looks like fun. So thanks, Shark, for doing this dual narration with me, and thanks for watching, guys. Leave me a comment, a thumbs up if you liked the video. Yeah, it's fun. All right, later, guys.